Hi everyone, Mr. Patello here. Just going to go through with you guys how to access show my homework and anything else that you might need while we are closed down. I've gone through this this morning in assembly with year seven, but obviously not everybody's in and not everyone will have had these instructions. So I'm just going to go through it quickly and hopefully make it nice and easy for you guys to follow. Um, the first thing I'm doing here is I'm just going to go to office.com. Office.com is kind of our homepage and from my computer it's going to look very slightly different to what it might look like for you guys at home. Um, when I log in, because I'm already logged into my work tablet, it's going to log me straight into Office automatically. For you, you'll see a login screen which will look similar to the screen that you would have when you log in to anything like um, like the school computers, for instance, and you're just going to use your username and password for the school computers to be able to access this page. Um, occasionally, you'll have an issue login on here. If you've already got a Microsoft account, which you might have, for instance, if you've got an Xbox or something similar at home, where it might, on your home computer, log you in automatically to your own personal account. We don't want you to be logged into the personal account because then you're not going to be able to access our apps here. So what I'm going to show you here is just a couple of ways to check that you are logged into the correct account. One is, for me, you can see my school photo here. Yours will obviously be you in your school uniform up there. You can click on that, and if you are signed into your personal one, you can just hit the sign out button here to log you out of your personal one, and that will take you back to a login screen where you can put your school username and password into there. Another easy way of checking is that in this black Office 365 bar at the top, um, you've got the school logo here in the top left corner. And if you put your cursor over that, it says Blessed You Found in Catholic School. So you know you're in the right place. Um, just to the left of this is your app launcher button, which is where you want to go. You will see on the screen in front of you that you've got lots of other options for apps that you can launch and some of the work that you're set over the next few weeks is going to require that you're able to access some of these. You've got Outlook where you can access your email, OneDrive where you can access your saved files and you can save anything that you've done to OneDrive in order to be able to access that at a later date. Um, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all things that you might get lesson resources set to you on. Um, I find it much easier to use this and I'm going to suggest that you use the app launcher on the side and you're going to get a similar list of those. For me, because I use it very regularly and maybe more regularly than some of you do, um, the Show My Homework app here pops up for me because it's one of my recent or frequently used apps. If it doesn't pop up there, hit this arrow underneath. It says All Apps, and you can open all of yours. If you scroll all the way down to the very bottom, you will see Show My Homework is on there. I have two of these. Some of you might only see one. The one that you want to click on is this one. It's the one with the grey SMHW show my homework logo, not this one. If you click this one with the blue logo here, it's not going to work. So just hit the show my homework button and it will take you to the login screen. Um, the login screen is where most people go wrong. This is where most parents and students will think that the system's broken and they're not able to log in. Um, and it's all because people will come to here and start typing in their email address and the, their password in order to be able to access this. That isn't going to work for you if you do that. Um, obviously, for me, it's start for you guys. It will be student or perhaps parent if there's parents watching this video as well. So hit the student button or the parent button, depending on who it is, and you will need to scroll down and hit this button down here. Sign in with Office 365. If you've accessed Show My Homework from the Office screen that we were on before, the Office 365 screen, that home screen, it will log you in automatically when you hit this because it's going to use your credentials that you've signed in with already. It will create a little pop-up window, so if you've got a pop-up blocker on there, that could prevent you from accessing that. Just allow it to uh, create that pop-up when it logs you in. And then it will take you straight into Show My Homework and you'll be able to see all of the stuff that you've got there. Your screen and my screen will look slightly different, obviously, because mine's a teacher account and yours 
would be a student account or parent account, depending on who's accessing it. You've got um, quite a useful link down here as the support button, and I was just going to go through a couple of the ideas on there for things that you might do on here. Um, you'll be able to track all of the, the tasks that you have to complete, and on some of those, you will have um, pieces of work that you are required to access. The teachers may upload various pieces of work for you. Um, there's a chance that you'll be asked to submit work on Show My Homework. In order to do this, the support link on Show My Homework allows you to see how that works. Um, on your homework, you will have these three tabs here, description, results, and submit. So the description is how to do the task. Results is your grade that the teacher's given you based on the work that you've done. The submit tab here is how you go about loading or uploading your, um, your finished piece of work, whether that happens to be that you've done it on a piece of paper and taken a photograph of it and upload the photo to show that it's done, whether it's you've completed it on Word or on PowerPoint and you're uploading your work. You need to have saved it somewhere first, either saved it on your computer or saved it on OneDrive. If you're saving it on OneDrive, you can access that from absolutely anywhere. You can access that from your phone, from a tablet, from a PC or a laptop. You could be able to do that even if you're not necessarily at home, although most of you will be at home for the physical future. Hit the Submit tab. Uh, hit the part that says Add Attachments as it's shown you on the screen and then select wherever your file is saved and just simply upload it and that will send your work to your teacher and your teacher will be able to grade that and give you some feedback on it and send it back to you. Hopefully all of that is helpful. If you've got any questions or anything like that, please let me know and, um, and I'll try and help you guys with your logins for those. Thanks. Cheers, bye.